welcome to the first day stream of my tournament. So first day means 10 boards with imp scoring and we see that in the ranking so far there are 326 players, 400 registered at this moment and 64 will figure on the friends ranking. So let's jump in and start with board number one. Semi-balanced 4441. So immediately we have to be very alerted because this is a very tricky distribution because we won't be able normally to establish all the length tricks. So we need extra honors. Uh, this hand is, I would say, even worse than a balanced hand because you don't have control over your short suit. So opposite a singleton, a four card is impossible to establish. A five card is very difficult to establish. And if partner has a five card opposite a singleton, that's basically the worst case scenario because you don't have a fit and it's very hard to establish either each of the suits. So that's why we should evaluate Queen 10, 9 and Ace, Jack, 9 as a very good middle cards, as a good suit to be established uh, in no trumps, but also if space will be trumps. Yet, I'm not very happy here to start bidding because most likely we overbid and our hand is worth an invitation or maybe we just get a no trump opening which is much more easier to bid now is it it's very questionable if we find the spade fit that's perfect if partner would have bid two hearts at least we know that he's holding up hearts by length which is very often more important than with strength but right now we know that opponents have nine hearts together so it's kind of guaranteed that they will lead a heart against free no trumps. Uh, yet, um, free no trumps might still be the best contract if we have nine tricks fast. So the tempo will be important if partner has only one heart, one heart stopper. If he has two, very likely we will be able to establish clubs and those aces in the other suits give us control, fast tricks and so on. How to bid further is probably to bid a suit. Uh, right now we have, uh, I can choose if three clubs or three diamonds. But why I prefer to bid uh, three clubs is actually that partner can bid either three diamonds and say that he's scared of hearts. Then we are going to play five diamonds. Or a uh, partner can bid three hearts that he has stoppers and he's afraid of diamonds. If he bids three no trumps, it's fine. After three clubs, he doesn't have uh, the bid there. Okay, so let's have a look. Three hearts, strength in hearts, concentration of honors. So king, queen, ten, ace, queen, that would be the good holding. And that's uh, why we prefer to play no trumps from the strong balance hand because that's uh, where we protect our honors from the lead. Ace, King, Queen. So see that hearts is not the suit where we have problems. Clubs we need to establish and spades and diamonds are actually our weakest suits. But after this lead, we immediately get an extra spade trick and we get a tempo to establish the clubs. So very easy card play at the end and we play for over tricks not that we will oh now we get another tempo because north is actually the hand which we are focusing on the spade queen is covered by the ace hearts are good clubs are good so we have three diamond losers one we cover with an ace and let's hope that we can establish another one hmm King. That's that's actually a great card for East to play. I have to win here. If I duck, they will play a spade and I will be in troubles. But anyway, I have an entry there and I can start cashing those clubs. 
but at the end I will be left with two diamonds anyway. So I can just play the diamond towards the nine and they're going to score the diamonds and that's it. Oh, they don't want it. If they don't want it, I will discard them. Anyway, uh, no squeeze in diamonds and spades because east will hold up spades, west will hold to the diamond winner, so nothing we can do. See, jack or six, it's actually the same thing. And let's cash 10 tricks. Hopefully get some plus, because five clubs, we need to lose a club, we need to lose a diamond, and most likely we need to lose the spade. So five clubs not making. At least I hope that they do not lead a spade. Plus three, majority of players actually play in three no trumps. Let's see, five clubs, 11 players made, Five clubs here, well, about the same. Uh, very few people actually ended up in five clubs, and only individuals ended up in six clubs and various other contracts. Okay, 187 for the same score in three no trumps. That means either good bridge uh, by figuring out, or luck that they just blindly bid three no trumps. And we have another sequence, this time 10 high card points, balanced, no four card major, uh, so we definitely know which contract we want to play, how high, 10 plus 15 is 25, uh, four owners plus three owner tricks is seven, so if you have seven owner tricks, you have a decent chance uh, to establish two extra length tricks, or maybe score more owners if those if all kings makes tricks okay partner has a five card and they led the suit so obviously spade is the risky suit and um, right now all my hearts are good but I need to establish them so let's hope that he just wins and keep playing them no he switched to spades but luckily for us to the best card uh, we wanted to see because right now we even have an entry so cashing the ace of spades and playing the spade will prevent us from cashing all the clubs right now the spade loser and the diamond loser I will discard on clubs and I have an entry so thank you very much for those over tricks very helpful claiming 11 tricks Easy bidding, easy play. But partner open one no trump with five card major. If he opens a hard, um, which I guess might happen in a lot of setups here on Fun Bridge, one hard pass, one no trump. What does North bid? Very tough. Two diamonds, most likely. And then we might end up in three no trumps from our side. And after a spade lead, they definitely get three spade tricks plus the ace of hearts. And that would be probably it. But anyway, that's two imps. Four imps because a couple of players went down. So the start of the tournament, plus seven. And I didn't do anything spectacular. Not even anything, let's say, advanced. These were more like a beginner caching from top. One spade pass and we have a five card fit. This is uh, where some books or some theory is telling you that you should play on fourth level no matter what because you have 10 trumps together. Well, guess what? Like any other rule, this doesn't apply to all the hands and definitely not if you have five, three, three, two. Downgrade the five card fit, huge. Don't upgrade this hand only because you have a five card suit. Why it is good is because we have three kings and an extra queen and a doubleton. But the five card fit, especially that jack to nine, whoever is thinking now, oh, those are great spades with middle cards, 
they're useless. If we have 6, 5, 3, 2, that's good enough because we have a 10 card fit. So suddenly queens, jacks, 10s have basically no value unless you need to cross rough. Guess what? With balanced hands, you're not going to cross rough. I would love uh, to bid four spades, but actually we have a systematic bid, which is three no trumps, and that actually shows a full card fit. Uh, forget the word exactly, because this like feels like a four card fit. Uh, the important is strength, so force to a game and a very small chance for a slam. What's that double? Takeout bid. So suddenly we know who might have a void in spades if we are missing third queen in spades. Okay, we are not missing the spade. Uh, we do miss three aces and see 5 3 3 2 opposite 5 3 3 2. It's amazing that we have a 10 card fit, but the game is not there. Unless the ace of diamonds is on side or opponents just give us a gift, but I don't think they will. And it's 13 opposite 12, 25 high card points, and we don't have three no trumps, we don't have four spades, unless we are lucky and we have a 10 card fit. So come on. This is uh, what is bad on the mirror hand, on balanced hand. Yeah, well, that will be a suicide to cash the Ace of Diamonds. Yeah. Oh, okay, they're playing Diamonds, but the Ace is on side. So, everybody's happy. We just make the contract. Whoever tried, I don't think that there will be anyone who goes higher than four spades but let's see still plus one see a couple of players two bit five spades four bit six spades because they just fell in love in their five card fit luckily for the future of bridge they're only individuals so let's not have a look who is that uh, we don't want to point fingers okay one heart double and now everybody's vulnerable and that's interesting because we don't have a fit and we have possibly four honor tricks in our hand partner for an opening should have three honor tricks so if we have seven honor tricks plus some shape what contract are they going to play so let's redouble and i guess they will find a club fit yet still oh one spade Okay, now this is tricky. This is tricky because now we know that they don't have a fit, or most likely, I think partner with a void. Well, not think partner must bid with void in spades, but I'm not sure if Arjun does. Anyway, I would like to double, and I want partner to lead a spade. Um very often that wouldn't be that scenario so what we need to consider is we will make a game that's 600 being vulnerable so in order to beat this score we need to score nine tricks in spades that's a lot if they make three spade tricks then they might make only one other trick and then we write 800 500 wouldn't be such a loss and although we have enough points enough honor tricks we might not have length tricks because hearts will break badly very likely uh, if I only know that partner will lead a trump because it's not guaranteed that we make free no we might lose three spade tricks and well then something else very difficult uh, decision here anyway all my points are behind if partner is asking in hearts it will be nuts exactly free card what the hell is that 
Okay, so I double, and if partner passes, it's fine. See, the exactly free card is not the case. Spade? Nope. Oh, free card. Partner, please, please play a trump. If you have one play... Oh, wonderful. Okay. One more, because otherwise they will score an extra trump. Okay, everything's working nicely. Overtake, and now how many discards can I make? One, two, but that's it. Oh, that's roughed, and now I have to give them a diamond trick. Too bad. But anyway, that's our 800. Great defense, great bidding. Very happy about that. Worked out. Give me some imps because free no trumps is not better. See that four hearts pays for 680. If partner let the trump immediately, this would be way better. I think it could be exactly one trick better. We can make a slam actually. So let's have a look. Because now we lost a trick because partner overtook our jack. So in these cases, and I have, I have absolutely no idea why partner didn't be like two hearts or three hearts uh, with this hand. But it's okay that we double them. But imagine you lead a spade. So spade, spade back. Now the ten of hearts, I win with the jack. Spade back. And now I can even finesse the nine. So they are not even making that diamond trick. And that would be 1100. That would be, that would be what? For 800 average is about 600. So we will win 11 instead of five. Just because if you double on low level, doesn't matter what you have, if you have extra Honors, which you must on doubling on a low level, lead trumps. Just close your eyes. If you have a trump, lead it. It's 95, maybe even 99% of cases, trump will be the best lead. If you decide to double on low level. Okay, now our hand is terrible. 11 count. Uh, possible four honor tricks, yet no length tricks and no tempo so I'm not going even to invite here with this hand I'm missing too many top cards so that's six top cards plus two third rounds and partner with an opening and a race to show a minimum he has maximum three plus one so the game can be there only with a super maximum which is a hand like this three aces all jack tens and a doubleton opposite our weak suit incredible incredible so this is probably the only hand especially right now where you want to play four spades and i'm pretty sure that some players will play four spades trumps four one maybe uh, doesn't look like a uh, disaster. That's why you need to as, uh, evaluate the Norv hand. And with Norv hand, I would actually like to jump to free space because ace jack 10, ace jack 10, ace 10, that's like super nuts. That's too strong just to race with 12-14 okay because with my hand you don't want to play in free spades that's why I pass too you don't want to invite because even free spades might be too much or very often is too much 
yeah, losing six. Too bad. See, it's about 50-50 on the decision who bids the game and who doesn't. Um, the other time when four spades will be, let's say, stupid, three spades will be on the edge. Um, we will have the plus four, plus five imps. So it's about the same based on the decision. But the key point, the key difference uh, should be with uh, the opener who should upgrade the hand. Okay, 11 count again, but this time 4-4, four, four, ace, king, king. Um, if I pass, uh, this might be difficult to get on third level or fight for the part score if opponents find a spade fit. And in no trumps, well, my hand potentially generates 4-5 to five tricks, so I feel quite okay and I will open a diamond. Two clubs forcing to game. I want to play from north. Two hearts is showing extra. So I just must follow the system or what? Yeah, well, I will follow the system. Because Arjun is just uh, bidding like an advanced player. We have only four card fit and we got a lead to our seven card suit. It's great tempo and I actually even have a feeling to win with the ace. The issue is that this lead is most likely from five so even like false card here will not help much because if East gets to the trick he will play a spade. Three, seven, Aid. I need to score one club trick. See, I don't need to establish all of them. If I manage to get four diamond tricks, three hearts is seven, one spade is eight, I need one club trick. Ah, I get it. I have it. Now I need four diamond tricks. I cannot even duck the spades. Luckily, they didn't lead them. Okay, so let's catch the ace and see what happens. Three and a two, that's very promising. Either they split five one or three three. There is no other chance how the split might be. Five one or three three. And my only hope is three three. That's what it is. Can I score the diamond seven though? Not very likely. See, I had a chance to finish the fourth jack, but this is where you need to consider the extra information. What do you get from fun rich robots? And that's that whenever with small cards, which is eight and lower, they play lower, higher. So three, five, it was from East, or it was actually three, four, five from bottom that's odd number of cards while playing high first followed by a low card that means even number so that would indicate a 4-2 split a hard discard uh, doesn't help much because West started with 5 now that's confirmed but I don't need over tricks I need to make and I'm making Singleton Queen. That was the key card. See, five hearts, four spades. Difficult. If I actually bid my hearts and I play from north, East has an easy spade lead. So whoever doesn't end up playing no trumps from south should go down because opponents have four spade tricks and the Ace of Clubs. Bravo. See, so many people here ended up playing from north. Passing and the north opens a no trump. Very lucky, I would say, because um, you cannot tell who has the lead from the opponents or who don't. 
you can play from the right side to protect the owners this time um, it was actually the weak side which should not play no trumps and I went 12 so that can um, actually change your mind and don't uh, let's say put too much stress on from which side you are declaring no trumps when both hands are about equal strength or let's say if both hands have 10 plus points uh, whenever one hand is significantly weaker uh, then in the long run it's definitely better to play from the strong hand that's why we play transfers but the most significant thing is when you have the strong 18 plus hand you definitely want to play and declare from that hand protect those honors hide those honors in your hand and not put all the strength uh, on the table okay partner is a past hand we definitely don't want to push any higher than two spades because five three three two not a good one um, in general I like to be two spades and partner should always pass unless he has a super hand for a sacrifice or something good so two spades should be passed out uh, guess what well I had a preempt one less spade one more honor maybe it will work out opposite a shortness in clubs not a shortness in diamonds but this is ridiculous see because Arjun plays according to the stupid rule and yes it is stupid that you have 10 or 11 cards together you should play on the fourth level no <laughs> even two level is too high okay this is a good sacrifice over four hearts so I guess I will win a lot because we are not doubled and we have only three maximum three defensive tricks okay now we have only possible two defensive tricks maybe only one if one of the defenders have a void in spades nope now the surprise now they might not unblock well, it seems like clubs splits free free okay they split free f no they split four two but all the good ones are in one hand so free down 500 will be not a disaster in match points it will be a disaster a complete zero but that's why just bidding blindly with four imagine I have three hearts like with the ten can be different but look two spades pass 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 because this guy with 14 count I don't think that he will bid if I bid one spade would anything changes would this guy double let's have a look minus two see because four spades is a very stupid overbid but many actually ended up and they went only two down why because I couldn't do anything right oh they because you overcall one spade they play the third round of hearts how stupid is that when you see that the dummy has a doubleton you have queen okay so I'm losing to him because Arjun is a bad defender and at the same time bad bidder okay passing still gets you to free spades and opponents just cannot find a lay down for hearts tricky 16 count semi balance with five card major so suddenly if we find a hard fit uh, how we are going to plan the declare play as covering our losers so let's identify them before we start bidding ace of spades king of hearts king of clubs king of diamonds four primary honors queen of clubs queen of clubs queen of diamonds so four primary 
two secondary honors. It's four plus two, that's six, or let's say five. So what I need is partner to find with two honor tricks, good honor tricks, and a fit. We didn't find it, but I have three sure defensive tricks. I don't think they have a void. And we know how stupid they are by bidding four spades only because what they have a five card fit. So I think double here will actually pay off. Okay, maybe partner has nothing and they have four spades. Partner has a trick and a free card. So why is partner bidding with nothing but a defensive trick? That's stupid. Too bad. Very hard to play good bridge uh, under these circumstances. I need a club to work. I need a hearts to drop doubleton. And I need a diamond honor. I need so much. Well, in four spades, if this if this works in five hearts, we will write 800 in four spades doubled. I just so hate bidding these high level um, contracts with Arjun. I don't have entries, so I have to hope for the club queen with West. First thing worked. Now, um, we expect West to be shorter but have more points. No, actually East might be shorter after one spade, four spades. Let's think that spades are five, five. We have 21 high card points. So East will have like two honors. I need him to have a diamond honor and a heart king. And clubs seems to split Three three because I have the two and a four. So five three. I need the doubleton king to be with east. Ah, okay. That's solving my diamond problem. This is actually creating my trump problem. I want to keep my clubs as communication. It's okay for them to get a trump. So three clubs, diamond and a heart. 500 in four spades. Ridiculous. Okay, this is a trick. Because if I play the 10, I don't have entries to north. So I must win the ace. I have to draw the last trump and I have a small chance but I need West to discard a diamond because he still have the nine of diamonds so I cannot get my beer card but anyway I went two down so instead of plus 200 I'm minus 100 instead of plus 500 I'm minus 100 and look how the defense would be super simple like north will lead a hard I, will, I see four small I win with the ace and guess what I see the singleton king three small clubs so I return a small club partner wins two clubs this this is uh, such an easy defense and see how bad it is to bid four major blindly with a five card here I would always double and I would like partner to be programmed always pass no matter what you have. Yeah, nine imps difference. How many doubled? Okay, couple, couple worked. And this Arjun passed. Ah, oh, I want my Arjun to pass as well. What, what thing in your profile you have that Florian? 
that your Arjun passed. That's because you are limited. But I'm also limited with one heart up to like 19. At least I think. Most likely not. One club Polish. Double from North. Okay, see how the setup makes the differences. Only one gave it away. Well, that's super bad to give this away, but anyway, at least you played it. But see how few people doubled. It's like marginal. Two, four, five, six, seven, including me. Well, okay, probably more. Sorry for that. It's not true. More people doubled and were pushed to five hearts. Okay, where could we be if we have a partner who understands our problems? Okay, four triple three, only 15. That would say a pass. Uh, let's see. One and a half with those kings, one and a half with ace jack and an ace. That's four. Less, only one length, possible length trick. Yet, we kind of have controls. So if Parn has two honors and a five card, I believe we make three no trumps. But with two honors and a five card, Parn should bid three no trumps. Unfortunately, um, Arjun is not behaving according to these rules. So I'm going to pass, but I'm not happy to pass. Even I have a super minimum, I'm not happy to pass. Show me. Ah, oh, spay lead, wonderful. See, two honors and a five card. Now we have two stoppers, we've got entries, we've got tempo. So only if I play stupidly, I have three clubs, two hearts is five, two diamonds is seven, and two spades will be nine. And I don't even need to uh, work hard on those clubs, see? Three no trumps. Should have actually won with the king. Anyway, I think sooner or later they will play the spade for me now, for example. Okay, thank you very much. If there is a squeeze, it will be this way. Easy discard. Both discarded a heart. Now they discarded a diamond, so I can afford to discard a spade. That's definitely not a winner. And the jack. But this guy probably keeps two spades and a diamond. This guy holds three hearts. Yeah. Okay. No way. But see, we just got easy. I would say super easy nine tricks. I could even cross and finesse the queen of clubs to make ten tricks. With my minimum, I had it. I had the feeling I should raise with that end. Uh, but luckily, the majority of players will not. Yeah, zero. Nineteen players got the bonus. Kevin! Oh, Kevin's learning. Kevin's learning from my lessons. Always accept an invitation being vulnerable. If I know how strong partner might be. Uh, too, too sad. See that the jack of hearts actually will create some problems. 
uh, but then I can just win with the ace, play the jack of clubs, and get nine tricks from top, basically, with tempo. That's what aces and kings provide. No queens, see? Not even one queen, and both jacks are very useful. One jack ten key in our short suits, and one jack ten nine key in our long suit, which we want to establish our length tricks. And so, absolutely perfect holding. 23 count together, 4 triple free, yet easy free now. Uh, that's why bridge must be played a bit differently. Okay, 10 count, 6 card, 2, 4, 6, 7. It's actually 6 plus 1. 6 primary losers on aces and kings, only one third round. Why you should count this way is because the third round, if it is not free small, can be covered by an honor, by a shortness, or by honors in other suits or even length tricks in other suits. So you can discard your third round, third round loser much, ease, much more easily. Uh, it feels to be a bit strong, non-vulnerable for two spades. Two side owners. If I jump to four spades, would that be enough? Would partner keep betting? A bit of spade, something happens. Uh, four hearts. Four hearts might be better if partner has singleton spade. Because then I have two honors plus a shortness. So I just bid a spade first. No trump, now partner has some spades. So I bid four spades. Now spades should be better contract. Because yet again, although we have eight hearts, I might not need it. Okay. So obviously we lose three aces and we need them to play clubs, not diamonds. Unblock. Okay, this looks okay, actually. Okay, this is the good ace. And now we are good, because no matter what West plays, okay, he's got all three aces. Luckily, he didn't have an entry. See a small club lead, by the way. If Ease has the jag of clubs, small club lead, would create an entry, ace of spades would create the tempo to play the second round of clubs to find the jack of clubs entry and the diamond through. Right now I've got the rest. Okay, but Trump's eight are gone. Eight are gone, right? Two rounds. Eight are gone, so I can rough high. See, that's the jack. So the game is not there and look at that 11 opposite 10 we are not even close to 30 or 25 how about a hard contract see hard contract is down after a diamond lead because you play from north so after a diamond lead, you are immediately down. After a club lead and a spade switch, um, you are not down because we will draw the trumps. There is no promotion. After a club, club towards the queen, you are down. But I think it's a pretty standard queen of diamond lead. Even the club, small queen, you cannot duck and you go down. Okay, uh, non-vulnerable, give me eight imps. Seven, I take that. Only four people in four spades, wow. 
Okay, two more because they made extra tricks. But four, six people in four spades making. Unbelievable. Two in four hearts. But look at that. An Argent wouldn't bid four spades, like some random two hard bid. See, we can make only nine, but only after a perfect defense of leading a low club or the queen of clubs potentially, which is almost impossible. Well done, perfect card play. Thank you very much. Plus seven, 23rd place. And guess what? This is where we missed. This is where we missed 10. Uh, this is a very stupid four spades. Uh, this one I lost six because I didn't just gamble the game. Uh, so many like bad decisions, bad plays, and yet still 23rd place with plus 22 imps, with solid bridge, without any partnership understanding. So yes, you might say bridge is a difficult game, uh, but as you can see from the play, bridge is not a difficult uh, game to play if you play it in a standard manner. 46 imps, Surya Kumar. Uh, this is some kind okay four and a half thousand so still we know that whenever you see Kolkata we know from the past that these were quite fishy I mean plus four imps it's impossible without extra information I can honestly say and this is only 30th place average of four plus imps guys that's impossible so too bad I don't think this is um, this is a fair game but never mind maybe it is I don't want to because you need more data actually on that but whenever somebody makes 10 extra and have uh, like a, such an average um, how you reach that because you see that there are a couple of uh, great players here who are always at the tops um, oh you're on 3 plus 5 see there's still a half half of imp difference and Yoram is almost always at the tops I played with him in a tournament and well uh, he really tries very difficult and give 100% to every single board so yes it is possible to reach reach that thing um, but not like that you see those players one time at the tops one in a month time okay maybe it's just uh, playing on a lucky day anyway on the France list Roland, Yoram, Steven here, plus 36, plus 34, plus 31, well done. Peter, plus 29, great score, Peter. And then we have a couple of others who managed to beat me. The rest is on the edge uh, with 22, 20, so the results will still change. Anyway, this was a very interesting uh, tournament. Uh, with a lot of mistakes and that's what we like because we learn from those mistakes so thank you guys for watching enjoy uh, the biggest uh, I would say okay it's just the second round or actually first round uh, the biggest bridge clash uh, biggest challenge uh, single KO challenge tournament I don't think that there were there was ever in the history of bridge to have a bigger challenge tournament than this clash is because already 6786 players registered in a single KO event oh this is huge so uh, Peter counted that it will be around 13 14 rounds so if you just get to square 13 you might get these numbers I don't know I don't know it from uh, from the mind uh, a lot of players will probably have a, a buy 
but let's uh, 1000, 2000, 50, 4000. So 4000, 100 is something, and then 8000. So about uh, one third of the players will have a free round in in the first in the first round unless uh, there is something else uh, some other algorithm uh, how to play the first rounds but I don't think so 200 friends huge huge tournament I'm very much looking forward I will try to keep you updated and record these tournaments as well um, so Let's see. The first one starts in two hours. I'm very much looking forward to it. Bye-bye, guys.